If you are considering moving to the Florida Gulf Coast, if you're new to the area or you have lived here for years, one thing is certain, Sarasota is an eclectic, vibrant, growing city filled with its own set of charms, some rules, some experiences and nuances. And it's always helpful to be completely updated and know what is happening in the area. So we are chatting about what you really need to know about Sarasota. Now be sure to stick around until the end where I share five quick tips that every Sarasota needs to know. I am Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts and Keller Williams Realty Select. If you're new to my channel, I share videos every week about living, working, and enjoying the Florida Gulf Coast. I love helping people buy and sell, so don't hesitate to give me a call, text, or shoot me an email. I'm here to help. And if you find this information helpful, please subscribe and leave comments below. So what should you know about Sarasota? Well, Sarasota is the perfect combination of old and new, of adventure and relaxation of water and land. Yes, Sarasota happens to sit along the Florida Gulf Coast and it's surrounded by four keys or islands right on the Gulf of Mexico. And most people believe this is just a tourist destination with water, but we are so much more than that. First, when I say old and new, I am referring to many aspects of the city. For instance, Sarasota has actually been a city since 1913. And although you may be hard pressed to find any homes that date back to this period, what you will find are homes that date back to the 1930s, 40s, and lots and lots of homes that date back to 1950s and 60s. We have old neighborhoods such as Gillespie Park, Arlington Park, Avondale, and Indian Beach. And those are just a few. And you will drive past homes that have been standing in place for more than 70 years. And then we have brand new homes, brand new subdivisions. We have numerous new neighborhoods such as Talon Preserve, Revo Lakes, and Sky Ranch that are just starting in the building process. And also we have a mix of custom brand new homes in our old neighborhoods. So you may find a brand new contemporary home right next to an 80 year old home. So when driving through any downtown location, you'll be delighted with the variety, the age and the style of homes. Now there's quite a juxtaposition of age of homes in this area and just east of Interstate 75, you will find our neighboring community of Lakewood Ranch, which is less than 25 years old. So when I say we have a great mix of old and new, this is certainly true in our housing industry. And again, many may think we are a community that only serves the older or a bit more mature population. But again, we are so much more than that. Sarasota is very diverse in our population. And yes, we do tend to swell a bit during the winter months and snowbirds do show up and spend lots of times on our beautiful keys. However, Sarasota is home to a number of families with 17% of the population being under the age of 18. Sarasota is home to some of the top ranked schools along the Florida Gulf Coast, which is bringing families from these bustling cities to our somewhat smaller communities such as Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch, not to mention Parrish, Bradenton, Northport, and so many more. So families are definitely a big part of the Sarasota area. Next, Sarasota is definitely a city formed along the water, and it is home to more than 11 square miles of water, which is delightful and enjoyable. Whether you are an avid boater, a great fisherman, if you just want a day at the beach, or if you enjoy jet skiing, or the only thing you wanna do is take in the breathtaking sunsets, you will be pleased. There's something for everyone and it's very calming and rejuvenating living and working so close to this magnificent beauty of nature. Now we are surrounded by four keys. We have Longboat Key, Lido Key, Siesta Key, and Casey Key. And if you think all beaches look alike, then I highly suggest you spend a day exploring our islands as there is so much to learn, explore along our famous waterways. Now, are you an avid boater and you want to be part of a yacht club? Check into Sarasota Yacht Club located right over the Ringling Bridge before you get to St. Armand Circle. Or if just enjoying a day on the water is more what you're thinking about or you feel like you'd like to have your own boat but not sure that you want to take on all the work and expense of that, then join the Freedom Boat Club and take a boat out on almost any given day. But don't let all that water fool you either. We have land and we have lakes and we have parks and we have trails to hike. 
hike. Sarasota is home to Oscar Shearer State Park in Osprey. This is a hidden gem surrounded by housing developments and major highways. And Oscar Shearer State Park plays an invaluable role in the preservation of Florida scrub jay habitat and bald eagles nest here in the winter. And in the summer, Lake Osprey attracts anglers and swimmers. You can also kayak, canoe, and bike in this area. We also have Mayaka State Park, which is located just east of Interstate 75 off of Highway 72. In a scene reminiscent of what early Native Americans and Spanish explorers witnessed, we have live oaks, we have winding streams, you will find all kinds of wildlife, birds, and plenty of alligators. There's the Mayaka River, which is Florida's first state-designed wild and scenic river, and it flows through a vast expanse of very unspeakable spoiled wetlands, prairies, and hammocks, and just pristine area. Now, again, you can boat, fish, kayak, canoe. There's a lot of popular activities out in the Mayaka State Park area. If you're an avid birder, Sarasota is an ideal location for you. And since the pandemic began, bird watching has only increased in desirable activities that many have decided to join in at. And if you haven't experienced it yet, I highly recommend it. I never thought I would be a big birder, but it really is quite fun here in the Sarasota area. If you're an avid outdoorsman or woman, Sarasota has something for everyone. With over 90 golf courses, public and private, multiple tennis and pickleball courts and clubs, biking trails such as Legacy Trail, we have groups, we have bocce ball teams, we have running clubs, adventure seekers, anything to keep you busy year round. Now, if you do prefer to watch a game at your favorite watering hole or relax on the beach, no problem. Sarasota is full of places to gather with friends and enjoy watching football, baseball, soccer, golf, and much more. With residents from all cities across the globe, it does not take long to discover someone else that is willing to cheer on your favorite team. But as mentioned, I know many people that just love the relaxation of their beautiful backyards or a book club or gardening. So there is something for everyone. Now, do you like music, theater, museum, or perhaps learning a new skill or developing a new hobby? Well, then living in Sarasota is just perfect for you. You are never too old or too young to learn and explore. Our art scene is unparalleled on the Florida Gulf Coast. We have opera, theater, dance, museums, and numerous galleries. And if you want to learn or take part in any of these activities, you're in luck. Sarasota is home to ACE Adult Community Center, the Sarasota Art Center, as well as a number of large colleges and university. And they all provide lectures, classes, instructions on so many, many different topics. And it's a great way to get involved. Also, we have well over 30 nonprofits. We have a number of groups, clubs, and a vast array of volunteer opportunities for individuals of all ages and skill levels. So a few other little insights before we're done. Number one, the traffic is definitely getting worse. So please learn the best route. And also you might wanna have a number of alternative routes to your favorite destinations. Number two, we are growing in population and it is booming here, which means we might have to be a little bit more patient while dining out, shopping, or waiting at a doctor's office. So I'm kind of warning you to just be a little bit more prepared. Number three, always good to have a reservation when you're dining out. Number four, Sarasota Bradenton International Airport is growing and expanding and adding additional flights regularly. If you have not used this airport when traveling, I highly recommend it because it is a great little airport and we are so fortunate to have it. And number five, a great majority of people living in Sarasota are from somewhere outside of Florida. And a great way to meet people is to join meetup groups. There are hundreds of different groups that may have similar likes that you have, or you can start your own group through meetup and meet people with similar interests. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. If you have questions about neighborhoods, living or moving to the area, I'd love to be your real estate resource. And before we go, be sure to check out this next video on five things no one tells you about Sarasota and you'll find out a few of Sarasota's best kept secrets. Thanks again for watching and until next time, take care.